When I first started to shoot special effects like Wine Pours and Fire, I had no idea people like Jeff existed. The first time I met Jeff, I understood why it was so important to have someone as talented as him on set. Uh, I'm making a wine pour, a continuous wine pour, which is a great way to... Uh, it's much better than the old way of, of putting a glass down, pouring into it, hoping you caught it at the right moment of splash, and if you didn't, then you clean out the glass, start again, clean up the splashes you might have made, start again. So what we do here, I knock the bottom out of the right bottle, uh, which in this case is a, uh, a lovely uh, lovely Riesling. I'm going to mount this to this rig with my Gerke system parts, these wonderful um, adjustable uh, giant tinker toy things. I'm going to mount that there. I'm going to pump wine through this side because all we're going to see is that little bit of the necker or the uh, the capsule and uh, then it goes into this special wine glass which has a little uh, tube that I've drilled a hole in the side that goes in the back and then the wine continuously flows and by regulating the valves going in and out I can get just the right height and I can get a perfect curl that beautiful curl you want to get and it can go all day long so that's what I'm doing now. Any moment there, or any little frame there, is a beautiful tumbling wine splash. And we can move it around a little, get a little different action. But, uh, yeah, that, that gives us a nice, a nice uh, rise up the side there. There we are. Yeah, that is delicious looking. And when you're in just the right place, the tubing all gets masked. Beautiful. Yeah. Came out nice.